Hello everyone and welcome to ES Repair. I'm your host, the Whiz Kid. Has your star on your riding mower ever the starter gear ever stripped out and you just sit there whirls and won't turn your motor? Well today I'm gonna to show you how to change the starter drive on a brake from strap starter. The starter is already off the motor, so I don't have to show you that part. But some of the starters they bolt to the side of the motor like this one, and some of them, most on the big twin cylinder. They bolt on top, under one bolt under a flywheel and one off to the side. But you gotta take all the shroud off the top. Well, to do this, there's a couple different ways. You can do it with the proper tools from Briggs and Stratton, and they're very pricey. This here is the remover. Got the little handle here, got the little sliding thing there, it slides up. Got the big circles there. The jaws that open up, and there's your slot in that thing, it slides out. And this tool here is what puts them back on the installation tool. It's got the slot to cut in, and it's pricey too. And it's got that little ring thing there that catches it and pushes it back on. Well, when you start it, you have to put this part, the big round part, down. And I always try to get like that little spot where it'll kind of slide up that slot. Put it on, then you push down. Sometimes they're very hard to get on and push down. In that case, you might use a little carburetor cleaner to kind of clean out the crud and then put a little lubricant on it to help it slide down. From the heat and the moisture and the flour more bit outside, it can cause it to stick. Okay, you put it on there like so. Mash down on it and hold down and start winding it in. Sometimes they don't go right and you have to do it a couple of times because it don't go right the first time. And there it is. It'll, what it does, it them two jaws, that sliding thing there, comes up and catch the back, and these two catch arms, catch the edges, and it pulls it apart. So I can get it apart off in order to put it back on if you don't have a new ring. You have to squeeze it together real good. Don't get it completely closed because it's got to go back over and it'll have to spread apart. And a word of caution, and I won't say how I know this, when you're taking it off, make sure it don't go flying. And if you do, try to keep up where it's at. So I don't know if you can buy that thing separate or not unless you can go to the starter place and they have a used one laying around. Yeah, I wonder who did that. Then you take it all off, you got that piece and it goes that down. Spring. And this washer deal here. And there's your tooth. Or your gear of the teeth on it. And these, most of them say they go in a certain way. This side down. Most of them say this side up or this side out. And that's the part that goes up. Now you take that part off. Now, some maintenance tips that you can do when you got it off is. If it's real cruddy in there, you can spray a little carburetor cleaner on it. Paint around that uh, shaft off. And around that bush in there. And take your rag. And wipe it all off. And if there's any rust on it, the shaft, you can get your little sandpaper and clean it off. Shine it up. Then after you get that bushing clean, take your little lubricant, whatever kind you prefer, and spray down in there. And turn it around. And this thing, the shaft here should turn freely both directions. If it don't, then there's something in there wrong. It's locking it. 
You need to turn freely both directions. But you will feel a little resistant there. That's normal. And if there's the end, there's an opening where you can see a bushing, then you can clean out around head a little bit and spray some lubricant on hit. Be careful not to get it up inside there, so kind of spray it at an angle, because it could short something out and you put both to it. But this end, like most of them, has got a sealed end on it. This here is where your cable goes. When you put it on, take a 716 or a 3 8 where the size the nuts are, hold that nut, then turn the outside with, with the appropriate size wrench. Take the cable off, take your sandpaper wire brush, slide, slick the bolt up real good, the threaded part, and clean the end of your cable off when you put it back on so it makes a good connection. And when you put it back on the motor, this is how it grounds to right here in the boat. So clean this up, your boat, and that side of the motor will attach it to the motor so it will make good contact and ground. Okay. Then you reassemble it, you put it back on, opposite the way you took it off. That goes on, then that, make sure I put it right, then you get the spring, then you get this washer, little curved washer. This top piece, then you put that back on there, lay it up there, take your installation tool, put it over it, try to keep it straight so it don't lift it up over one side, keep it level, take your hammer, don't hit it real hard now, you can break your tool, and that's an expensive tool, and tap it on. Make sure it goes down in our seats real good. And make sure it goes under that lip real good so it don't accidentally fly off and get lost when you start the motor. You know, kind of pull on it, get an idea. And if a piece is hanging, sticking out from it, not under it good, then take it back off and squeeze it back together and redo it. And without, and there are some maintenance tricks that you can do to help your starter out without taking all this off if it ain't stripped. Spray your little carburetor clear on that white plastic piece there. You ain't got a bag tie for nothing. They cleaned it up with your starter gear will move a little bit more freely. At the same time take you some lubricant and spray under there and get that bushing good which I've already done but I'm just demonstrating. That's what you can do to help your starter if your gear isn't stupid already stripped and clean the post here and here so it makes good ground. Okay. Another way, a cheaper way, but it can also be a little bit more dangerous. And a good idea, while well, I'm thinking of it, to tell you is to wear safety glasses when you're doing it. And spraying chemicals just in case chemical would blow back the eye or that thing would fly up its eye. As you take this, and what you do is you turn it around so that, that slotted part right there is on this side with, and with the two little openings there on that side. So you come in under that ring there. Now it's down. Then keep filling with it until it comes off. Work it under one side, turn it over, and get the other side. And you really need your safety glass when doing this. And you may have to fool with it a few times, especially if you ain't experienced doing it. And be careful doing this because you could accidentally ram a screwdriver through your finger. And there it is all. Then you go through all the other maintenance steps that I demonstrated to 
clean and lube it and replace the starter thing. Then you can squeeze it back in a little bit. Then here's where you take a socket, just a regular socket, put it over, line it back up, and you take the socket. And beat it back home. I'm using a 10 millimeter here. A 3H might also work. You may have to take the screwdriver and kind of make sure it's caught under there good. Kind of pull it, make sure it ain't gonna come off. Everything's working and turning good. When you drive it on there, you want to make sure, like I said, you don't do two things, a couple things. You don't want to hit it hard enough that you break your tool. Like I said, this thing is expensive. It's got them slots there. It could go and shatter. You gotta be careful with this that you don't break this and get in the bind. Like that plastic piece there. And you gotta make sure you don't damage or bust your socket. And you don't want to go too deep over your shaft here because you could damage, bend your shaft, damage your starter, drive something out the bottom, or bust something. Bend or break something. So you got to use your head as well as your hammers. Don't hit too hard, but at the same time you can't tap it, maybe tap it either. It'll never go on. And to demonstrate what I was talking about, the starter shaft not turning around, this one here is bad. I've already took the gear off of it because I'm keeping that. I got the starter soaked to a guy that works for lawnmowers because he changed the junk ones in and there were so many junk ones he gets a new starter. But see how this one will turn? That's a good idea that the starter is bad because something down there busted and locked it. More likely the magnet and stuff right here. And that's one of the reasons I was telling you you had to hold both nuts on the, when you're tightening it up or loosening so you don't break all that off and strip it out and damage it. Do that, you have to have a whole new end put on your starter. But thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you solve some of your starter problems. Thank you.